Hey everybody, Mulkey Films here. This is our video series on how to upgrade the HP All-in-One PC. This is an MV23 model, uh, touch smart or touch screen All-in-One PC. We're going to make a couple upgrades to it, so if you're interested or if you have one of these computers and you want to make these upgrades yourself, be sure to click subscribe and be sure to check out our other videos as we talk about this computer. Alright, let's check it out. First thing we're going to do is upgrade the RAM. Alright, to upgrade the RAM, first thing you want to do is unplug your computer. Then you want to lay it on a nice flat surface. Uh, preferably if you've got something soft you can put down, uh, that'll help because what you want to do is flip it over and you don't want to damage the screen. So here we go, we've got it on the bed here. We're going to go ahead and flip it over and these are quite heavy. Okay, now you can see it's flipped over. And to get to uh, the back side of it, there's, it's pretty easy. There's about three screws. There's one here in this corner. Let me turn you. There's one here in this corner. And then there's another one right here behind this panel. So first thing you want to do is open up this panel. This one comes off pretty easy on this computer. Um, you just put your finger back there and then pull up. And then there it goes. And there's your screw right there in the middle. Uh, these four screws are for a visa mount. If you ever wanted to mount it uh, on like an arm type mount. So we're going to go ahead and take the screws out. Okay, and then once your screws are loose, carefully just pull, pull up on it and the whole thing will kind of come apart there you go and I like to lift it up just like that there's a couple hinges on the top there and there you go now you can see uh, the guts the inside of the computer and to access the RAM that's right here so let's go ahead and take this panel off okay now we'll go ahead and pull this panel off here lifts off real easy there you go and there's the RAM this is sodium RAM and you want to find the correct type and order yourself another stick. Uh, this is a 8 gig stick that's in there. And uh, I made the mistake when I was ordering. I accidentally ordered the wrong type. Uh, even paying attention and uh, trying to be as good as I could and, and make sure I'm getting the right type, you can still make mistakes. So this is the uh, just regular RAM version DDR3. Uh, uh, it's the long, it's got a lot more pins. Uh, what you want is the laptop version, the SODIM RAM. Uh, which is that right there. Okay, so and I believe this is, I want to say 204 pins. Anyways, I'll put the correct number of pins in the description down below. And what you want to do is simply press it in right here, push in, and then once it's in, uh, it's kind of at an angle, and you just want to push down, make sure it's all the way in here. There it goes. And then just push down. There you go and those clips will click together and that's it alright now when you're finally ready to put it back together there's, there's definitely a trick to it what you want to do is just like when you took it off you want to bring it in um, at an angle and then put it down and then kind of angle it down like that so first thing I'd like to do is come to the top corner and make sure all those hooks grab where they're supposed to, and then you can even push down on them. You'll hear them click. There's one. Yep, there's another. And then keep doing that as you push down, and you'll get it right back where it should be. And then once you're happy with it, go ahead and start tightening down your screws. I like to do the center one first, and I don't put it all the way tight right away, just so I can get a chance to tighten down the other ones. Okay. And, oh, this one isn't quite there. Hang on. Okay. Yep, there it goes. You can hear that click when it clicks into place. There we go. Get the left side. There we go. You can hear it clicking as it's going into place. And then I like to run my fingers around the corner. Just to make sure this is all joined together again. Go ahead and... Tighten up the middle one. Here we go. 
And then don't forget your plastic cover. And it just goes on just like that. All right. There you go. Now you have it. It's all back together. Thanks for watching. This has been Mulky Films. If you like this video, be sure to click subscribe and check out our other videos on this computer. Thanks.